Hey there, this is a more advanced training. Uh, this is the series functionality of our campaigns. So first go to your campaign overview grid, click on series. There are three types of series and these are just a bunch of test series that we've already put together. So your existing ones appear here and you can edit them here. Um, but what we're going to do here is add a new series. So as you can see, there are three types. Um, the way a triggered series works, it's like having an automated real-time funnel. So a triggered series, the way it works is it will display the same campaign to a certain individual until they submit to that campaign. Then the next time they come back to the page, it will automatically advance to the next campaign in the series. So we're not going to keep bugging them to do the same thing over and over every time they visit your page. And that's also on your Facebook tab as well, if you add your campaign as a tab to your Facebook page. Now the scheduled series is slightly different. Um, that will show one campaign for a certain amount of time, and then let's say maybe on November 1, it advances to the next campaign. And then on December 1, if they go back to that exact same page, it's going to be a new campaign. So it allows you to schedule out a whole bunch of campaigns for the year in one fell swoop and you're done. The split test series is just what it sounds like. It's a split test. You can split test up to five different campaigns to see which one has, you know, if you want to try a different offer and see which offer works best. If you have different creative and you want to test different creative and see which works best, um, you can do that here. And the split test series makes it really easy. You can see which did best and then you can switch over to only that one and get the other one out of the picture um, and continue on with your best performing campaign. So in order to create one of these, let's start with the triggered. They all work in about the same way as far as setting them up. So first thing you're going to do is name it. We're going to call this triggered test. And then we're going to choose our first campaign. So for a triggered series, um, what you might want to do, let's just let's come up with a use case real quick. If this is on your home page, you might want to grab people's email addresses, which is more important than anything, when you're first starting the relationship with them, because this is their first visit to your site. Um, the best way to do that I've found is with the sweepstakes. So you might have like a referral sweepstakes right there on your home page. Start with that. Once they've submitted to your sweepstakes, I consider them lower on the sales funnel. Now it's time to convert them into an actual customer. So not only are you sending them automated emails um, now that you've captured their email address, what you also want to do is maybe show them some video or text testimonials. And that might be your next um, campaign in your series. So first step, grab that email. Second step, let's show them testimonials from satisfied users. So let's grab a um, sample sweepstakes. These are all the different campaigns we've already created. So we're gonna grab sweet vid. This is a sweepstakes. I'm not going to end the campaign here. That would be a pretty short campaign, um, <clears throat> a pretty short series. So I'm going to display the next campaign in the series to a user who posts to the campaign above. And now I'm going to choose a testimonial campaign. And then I'm going to end the series. So when you end the series, what that means is if they ever submit their own testimonial, um, it's still going to continue to just show them that testimonial campaign because we're ending it here. Um, you can add up to, I believe it's eight different campaigns. And let's preview. This is what the video testimonial campaign looks like. This is a test site, so it looks a lot better than this in real life. Um, but I just wanted to show you how the preview functionality works. Now, if you look over here on the right, um, what this is is a deploy option. There's, as you know, several ways to deploy a campaign. And you can deploy a series in just the way that you deploy a campaign. So I can use JavaScript widgets. Um, so a sticky tab is going to put this series um, with a little tab on the right side of their screen. And you can position that here. And a pop-up, you can make it so only on the first visit it pops up and shows them this first one. Um, you can delay the pop-up and have different fly-in effects. Or you can save and deploy. So this should look very familiar to you. This is just like when you save a campaign, but now you've got a separate microsite that is just for your series. And this is the same URL for every campaign in the series. So you're able to uh, share this once, 
or add this once as a tab to your Facebook fan page and it will just automatically advance through without you ever having to change anything or use a different URL. Same deal with the widgets. This is where you grab your um, JavaScript code. You can even do an iframe and you can also add it as a tab to your fan page. So that's how you set up a triggered series. Now let's set up a scheduled series. So the difference here is it's still going to show us that um, sweepstakes, but the difference is now it's asking me, when do you want this to proceed to the next? So what I'm going to choose here is another date into the future, and let's call it May 1st. So now on May 1st at 12 a.m., if somebody visits this microsite again, it's going to show them the next campaign in the series, which would be the video testimonials and then I'm gonna have it end the series there. So what this does is it's gonna show the current one all the way up until May 1st, and then at that point it will show the, the other one forever, basically. Um, and if I wanted to add another one, I would just say display the next campaign on, and it would allow me to choose yet another campaign once I choose a date. But we'll end it here just for the sake of this demo. This doesn't change, and the deploy step doesn't change. So last but not least, I'm going to go back to settings and show you how to set up a split test. It's exactly the same process. The only difference is it's asking us add another campaign to the split test. So now it's going to be split testing these two different campaigns. And the way a split test works is it's going to evenly distribute traffic to one versus the other. So if I log in right now and look at it, it's going to show me one campaign. If somebody else logs in and 60 seconds, it's going to show them this other campaign. And you can actually check on the performance of that, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But I want to make a couple comments here. You can't split test every kind of campaign type. So if you have a contest, for example, you do not want to split test that contest. The reason is you'll have two separate winners, winners of one and winners of the other. So um, you would want to just run your, your campaign um, contest as a standalone. Things that you can split test are like video galleries, um, photo galleries, sign up campaigns, like if you have a, a high converting um, landing page or something that you're trying to get the most signups as possible, that would be great. But um, a sweepstakes you would not want to do, um, depending on how you set up your sweepstakes, because again, you're going to have two separate campaigns and two separate winners to award. If you're okay with that, that's fine, but just keep that in mind. Um, you are going to be running two simultaneous campaigns in parallel. So the way this works is once you run your split test, um, you're going to go ahead and deploy that. So in order to check which one won, you're going to need to go over to your reports. So that's your triggered test. And in your reports under campaigns, um, you would be able to see which one did best. So I'm going to jump over to the reports. So this is showing us our campaigns in the last 30 days. Let's scroll down. So this is our standard reporting. You're going to need to switch over into um, grid view, the data view, in order to see your split test results. You'll see something here called split test report. Click on that and you choose your split test. And what that's going to do is show you which one did better, which one did worse. So it'll list all of the different campaigns in your split test. Um, what did we call this one? Let me see if I can show you this one. Triggered test. So video testimonials. Yeah, that's the only one that, because I previewed it, it showed me just one. Once we generate more data on it and you run it as a live campaign, you'll be able to see both. And you'll see what the views were for each one of them and the shares. And you'll be able to decide which one um, is best. And what you could do at that point once you determine the winner is you would go back to your series. So let's see here. Let's go find it. Triggered test. It's right here. So I'm going to edit this. And see how we have two. Let's say the sweepstakes vid one and it was performing better than the other. Then you would just delete this other one and then save and deploy. And it's not going to change your URL. Everything will be fine. The only difference is now everybody will see the same campaign, the winning campaign. That's it.
If you have any questions, you can reach out to us on our support. Bye-bye.